What would you do if you weren't feeling connected mentally at the gym? I'm Nate, the Fit Future MD. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I show you how to lose 30 pounds in 30 days, and I document losing, going from 308 pounds to 250 pounds. Make sure you follow along, make sure you get that free nutrition and workout plan in my bio. Hope it helps you. So, what would you do if for some reason your body just wasn't connected mentally at the gym, right? So, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check my sleep, right? Your body cannot recover without sleep. So, if you're not sleeping well, um, for some reason you got a lack of sleep, or you're having like, so for me, you know, I run insert sales, so sometimes, you know, I'm only sleeping five or six hours a night, and, I, and if I do that for two or three weeks straight, you know, I'm gonna need a REM recovery day, so I need to sleep eight to 10 hours, you know, just to recharge my brain so that, you know, I'm mentally there, right? And some people, you know, they need 10 or 12 hours of sleep, especially in the winter, you know, when you're not getting the sunlight and your vitamin D levels are low. You know, sometimes if you're not getting that sleep, you won't have that mind-muscle connection, you know, where you can concentrate on hitting that muscle that you're trying to work, right? Second thing, you know, if I'm already getting a, that, that good number of sleep, I'm just gonna take a rest day. All right, I'm just going to take the day off. I'm not going to do any cardio. I'm not going to do any abs. I might stretch really well. I might get a massage. Um, most of the time, I, we use massagers, right? So, electric massager, you know, hit the muscles that are sore. You know, make sure you're getting, you know, really stretched or really flexible. You know, do some yoga maybe. But, uh, I'm gonna recharge my body by with a rest day, right? And a person like me who likes to be at the gym every day, you know, mentally sometimes rest days are, you know, I, I just don't like it because you know I love the gym, I love to work out, you know, I would be there, you know, I'm not getting paid for it now, so I'd be I'd do it for free, right? So. It's just something that you, that if you love, it's hard to miss a day, but, you know, sometimes your body's telling you, you know, if you're not mentally there, your body's telling you, look, I need to rest, right? So, um, we just take that rest day. All right, number three, I'm going to check my nutrition, right? So, let's say I just lost 30 pounds in 30 days. So... I'm gonna have to reevaluate my nutrition now, right? Because what I started with and what I'm at now are gonna be two different things, right? You know, my caloric deficit was definitely heavy the last 30 days, you know? So at the end of that, sometimes you feel better, but sometimes you know, your body is going into starvation mode, right? Because you lost weight so fast. And, um, you know, and a lot of people mentally need that quick weight loss, and I'm definitely one of those people, like, oh, I lost a half a pound this week, well, I'm going to go eat a pizza. <laughs> so, you know, that's not good. I need to lose a couple pounds a week, you know, in this case, a couple pounds a day, you know, a pound a day. Um, but you're going to have to reevaluate your nutrition at the end, right? Like, I'm not a 308-pound person anymore. I'm a 278-pound person. You know, so my nutrition, how many calories I get, how much protein I get, you know, I got a scale that kind of shows me, like, how much muscle mass I have theoretically, you know, and I got to see, like, you know, so that adjusts for your protein, you know, one to well the range is 0.8 to 1.25 or 1.2 grams of protein per pound of muscle right so 
200, that's 200 grams of protein. You know, and that's kind of how I do it. But, at, you know, even if you've lost weight, sometimes, you know, you're with you training heavy and you still get that that muscle gain while you lose weight. So check that out. Make sure you don't need to up your protein. You know, after losing 30 pounds, you might need a refeed day. So you might need to have a high carb day where you get 300 carbs. You know, you, you drop your protein that day and get 300 carbs. So it's the same calories, but you're just hitting your body with some carbs like you found some fruit in nature or something, you know. Um, so definitely check your nutrition. You know, if your mind muscle connection is not there, you know, your brain may just be calling for glucose, right? You know, your brain just may be starved. So definitely just check your nutrition. You might need a refeed, what they call a refeed, but it's just a high carb day, right? And high carb is really not that high carb. It's 300 grams of carbs. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you have a thousand grams of carbs, right? It's just a, like, hey, give your brain some glucose, let it recharge, and then hopefully you take the rest day and sleep and, you know, you're back to your normal mind-muscle connection. All right, and then the last thing is, is to slow down the reps, right? We'll start counting, you know, three or four seconds on the way down, three or four seconds on the way up. You know, obviously you still want to lift heavy, you know, but it may not be as heavy, right? It may be, so if you're supposed to be doing 250 on the bench press for three reps, you know, you might be doing, um, you know, drop five and do 245 and do three reps, you know, for that particular session and do it slower so that, you know, basically, you know, you're using time under tension to get more blood flow to those muscles you know, and honestly, once I started doing that, I just started doing that in general, just keeping, you know, very good control, you know, using time under tension to to really get the blood flow to those muscles, get the tears in those muscles, you know. In general, I do that anyway, but, you know, a lot of people don't. They'll go, you know, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and then that's it, you know, and you know, sometimes you need that extra mind muscle connection. So, um, and then the last thing is do more reps, right? So if you if you do those three and you do them slow and you still don't feel that mind muscle connection, you say, well, let's just rep it out. You know, um, we're gonna do 15, 20, 25 reps on something and and really just see if we can get the blood flow pumping to that area. You know, maybe that area needs the nutrition and it's not getting it, right? So you're feeding yourself good, you're sleeping good, you took a rest day, you know, you're still not doing it. Well, maybe maybe just more blood flow needs to go to that area to repair it, right? So <clears throat> um, those are the things I would do if I'm, if I'm uh, you know, mentally not getting that mind-muscle connection at the gym. Um, hopefully this helps you guys. Let me know down below if you have any ideas for how to do that. Um, these are mine. Um, like I say, I pretty much, you know, I don't really have that problem too often, but I have had it before in the past, and these are the things that I did, you know, to help them, you know, and um, I'm Nate the Fifth Future MD. Like, comment, subscribe. You can always email me if you don't uh, feel comfortable asking your questions down below. You know, I answer every email, so I appreciate all the support, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.